Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Presenting to you the 40th meditation for this Lenten season of this year 2019. The topic given to us is Burial of Jesus Unclaimed Body. Based on the Gospel according to St. John chapter 19 verse 38 to 40. As long as a person lives, she or he is called by name. Once a person ceases to breathe, the name is dropped and people start talking about the burial or funeral of the body. Though the usage of the term is quite inevitable while talking about the performance of the final rite, what is quite conspicuous is the dropping of the proper noun or the name of the person while doing so. Closely reading the burial episode of Jesus in all the four Gospels, it is seen that Joseph of Arimathea asked for the body of Jesus. The usage of the term body is inevitable, indicating clearly that Jesus was dead. Some commentaries find this act of the burial of Jesus bearing a connection to the book of Isaiah chapter 53 verse 9. The one who brought salvation by way of his death himself needed a place to be buried. Yes, Jesus was dead. What remained was just bones and flesh with hardly any blood within. His spirit was sealed in. We will try to talk about the unclaimed or abandoned bodies of human beings who end up being not fortunate enough even to have the mortal remains cremated as is wont to be. This will be done in the light of the burial of Jesus who was left to die by the government authorities, family members, disciples, followers, temple authorities and a huge fan of followers. Galilee to Judah and beyond the then Jewish borders of geography. An attempt is being made to draw parallels between what happened to the body of Jesus after his death and the vast number of unclaimed bodies. The popular dailies and several news channels in India had reported a shocking incident on the 11th of January 2019 where a cop serving the police department in Bhagpat, Uttar Pradesh, a state in North India, allegedly burned the unclaimed body of an elderly person after it was found in Tisana village with tires and plastic waste. This ghastly incident supposedly took place in a situation where provisions are made available for unclaimed bodies to be given a decent and honorable cremation or funeral out of the rupees 2700 allotted for carrying out the cremation normally rupees 400 is for transporting the body while rupees 300 is spent for the cloth or the shroud in this case the accused cop allegedly decided to burn the body and pocket all the allotted funds, much to the shame of the department and humanity itself. Videos of the burning incident went viral over several media. This is not the only stray case of sheer apathy when it comes to unclaimed bodies. However, there are also several other stories too, depicting the other side of humanity where one gets to see dramatic responses from some individuals who, in spite of taking painstaking efforts to provide a memorable burial to unclaimed bodies, go unrecognized. Naina Devekar, again a 37-year-old cop serving the government railway police, GRP, took time to go through the list of deceased persons at railway stations and took custody of the unclaimed bodies 
to perform their last rite. As reported in the local media, in the state of Maharashtra in the year 2015, Devekar had been performing the acts for three years from 2012. Devekar went a step ahead in trying to find the religious faith of the deceased person who died on railway tracks and then ensured that the rites were performed accordingly. In a historic Roman letter written by one Brutus Mentalist, director of the Roman Bureau of Information in the early century to Senator Centaurus Maximus, the writer penned a few lines this way. He, Jesus, threatened Rome. We saw him clearly as reasonable to Caesar and arranged for his arrest and crucified him. It was best for us that he died. It had to end this way. For Rome, Jesus was a rebel. He was no different from the other numerous accused sentenced to death on the cross. His body and burial didn't mean much to them. Well, one wonders why the members of the family of Jesus didn't find a mention in the burial episode the plight of the other two hanging beside Jesus after their legs were broken is not recorded in the Bible. One could assume that a good Roman official like today's merciful cop, Naina Devekar, claimed their bodies and performed the last rite. The Bible records the burial episodes of the patriarchs Abraham, Genesis chapter 25, Isaac, Genesis chapter 35, Jacob, Genesis chapter 50, and that of Joseph, Genesis chapter 50, Joshua chapter 24, Joshua, Joshua chapter 24, and Stephen, Acts of the Apostles chapter 3. In all of these, the family or descendants or devout human took charge of performing the burial of the deceased according to the tradition or the wishes of the deceased. In stark contrast, the burial of Jesus is taken care of by two individuals, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, both holding a non-consanguinous bond with Jesus. The act of these two officials could be termed courage-filled, given the situation where Jesus was just considered another rebel and not a saintly figure of the time. Moreover, Nicodemus, who met Jesus by night, as recorded in St. John chapter 3, was now out in the open to declare his regard and respect for the rebel Jesus. He was carrying a mixture of myrrh and aloes, a remarkable turnaround. The author of the book of Hebrews appeals in the 13th chapter to show hospitality to strangers. Joseph and Nicodemus had shown hospitality to the stranger Jesus. Furthermore, the same chapter also mentions the sanctity brought about by the suffering of the rebel stranger, Jesus. Joseph of Arimathea, Nicodemus, Naina Devekar, and many more unsung champions have risen to the situation, acting both courageously and without faith. This, because they were driven by their imperturbable conviction. Jesus, is the grain of wheat that fell on Golgotha and died. But for his death, the lives of humans would have remained unclaimed and left to the mercy of the elements. Let us pray. O Almighty God, you sent your Son Jesus as the ultimate sacrifice on the altar, a mere animal or their blood would not suffice to steer clear of the cloud of sin caused by human error. 
the blood of Jesus cleansed us and prepared us for a new life having accepted the power of the blood of your son Jesus let us strive to also suffer for the cause of fellow human both known and unknown and struggle without murmuring during the course of our earthly journey give us courage to display love upon fellow human beings to the point of death and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and forever amen